Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab 6S Lite. And today I'll show you how we can record a screen on this tablet. You want to swipe down from the top of your screen like so to pull down your toggles and then swipe down once again to extend the list of them. Next, look at the screen recording toggle. For me, it is on the first page right over here. Once you see yours, you can just simply press on it. Choose what kind of media or sound will be recorded. So we have media, mic, or both. Actually, just have media and media and mic. It's kind of odd. Uh, so you can have either the sound of the tablet, sound of the tablet along with the mic, not just mic, or basically no record, no sound whatsoever. Now below that we have show tops and the touches, which will record a semi-transparent gray dot on the screen wherever your finger was pressing it. I will enable this just so you can see how that looks like. From there, select start uh, recording. It does give you a countdown, which you can skip. And whatever you'll do right now will be recorded by the device. It's kind of like um, making the little dot visible so we can see that on the recording. Now in here, we have a couple options like the pencil. There we go. We have a pointer, which I guess you need yeah, a pen for that, which I don't have. So yeah. Next, we have a camera. Pause and stop option. I'm gonna select the stop option. There we go. This will automatically save my screen recording to the photos application or gallery as it's called here. And you can see it right here under today. You also might be able to find it under albums and in albums you'll find an album called the screen recordings. And there we go. And you can see that that's where my finger was pressing the display. Obviously, you can open up applications while doing this, and most of them will be recorded. There are some applications that will block this. If you find such an application, which you will end up with having as a black screen for a recording, and uh, there is no notification whatsoever. Uh, so be very wary of that when you start recording some, some application uh, that, for instance, like Netflix. Netflix won't let you do that. Uh, so if you try to, you won't know that you're not really achieving anything till you basically stop it and play it back and you end up having a black screen. And I also want to point out that, for instance, when it comes onto Netflix, uh, it can do that even when you don't give it any kind of permissions and you don't uh, log into it, you haven't uh, agreed to any terms of service, use privacy, any of that crap, uh, they will still be able to utilize uh, or do whatever they want in terms of like screen blocking on your device, which I kind of consider as a just BS. It's an option that users should have an option to turn off if we choose to. But as, as of right now, we don't have such an option. So if an application implements this, uh, wants to utilize this kind of screen blocking, that's it. You have nothing that you can change to turn that off. Now, anyway, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.